So, in our previous class, what we were doing? We were solving this differential given differential equation that is d cube minus 3d square plus 9d plus 13 into y is equal to 0. So, first we write in the auxiliary equation form that is we got m cube minus 3m square plus 9m plus 13 is equal to 0. So, first we found one root that by trial and error method and we obtained that is m is equal to minus 1 is one of the root. So, m plus 1. To find the next root, we have to divide this equation by m plus 1. So, on division, we get a quadratic equation that is m square minus 4m plus 13 is equal to 0. I hope you have performed the division and obtained this solution. So, this is once again a quadratic equation. So, you have to solve the quadratic equation. So, but here you will not obtain while multiplication 13 while subtraction or addition minus 4. So, we are going to the formula method that is nothing but minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So, on solving that here you will get the imaginary root that is nothing but you will get m plus 1 is one of the root and another root is nothing but 2 plus or minus 3i while you solve this quadratic equation using your formula method. So, here clearly this is an imaginary root and two roots are there one is 2 plus 3i another one is 2 minus 3i. The solving part you have to do on your own. So, here we have three roots one is m is equal to minus 1 another one is m is equal to 2 plus 3i another one m is equal to 2 minus 3i. So, we have to write the general solution, right? So, general solution is y is equal to c1 e power minus 1 it is, so minus x plus observe here we have got, we have got here the imaginary root. So, that we represent it as e power ax. So, here in the place of a there is a plus bi. So, a is 2x into this one we are writing as cos bx. So, here a plus or minus bi. So, cos bx. So, in the place of b we are having 3x plus sin 3x. So, how to write the general solution when a plus go, you get the root as an imaginary root. This is a real root. So, c1 e power minus x when it is imaginary. Remember, if a plus bi is a root of that, then a minus bi is also the root of the given equation. So, e power 2x into cos 3x plus sin 3x. So, this is okay. c1 cos c1 is already there. So, c2 cos 3x and here c3 cos sin 3x. You have to use the constants also. So, this is the solution when you are you obtain when you have the roots as the imaginary roots. Now, suppose a plus b i is repeated three times you think that. Suppose a uh, function or the given equation is having the root a plus or minus i b three times. So, now how to write the solution? So, you know uh, when the roots are real and they are repeated how to write the solution. Now, if it is imaginary and repeated, then how to write the solution? Okay, if a plus b i b, it is repeated three times, then how we can write the general solution? a is equal to e power a x into, so here also we are using the same method that is c1 plus c2 x plus c3 x square it is repeated three times into cos bx plus once again the same thing is repeated for sin also that is c4 plus c5x plus c6x square into sin bx. So, this way you write the general for solution when you have an imaginary root and it is also repeated. So, we have learned how to write the general solution if the auxiliary equation is having the real and distinct roots 
we are learned repeated roots imaginary roots and they are distinct imaginary and repeated then how to write the solution so next we will find how to find the homogeneous linear equation with constant coefficients when the particular solution is given how to find the equation when the particular solution is already given so now the question is given you have to find the homogeneous linear equation whose particular solution is given that is y is equal to 7e power 3x plus 2x now how to find the solution so here 2x is given right so this we can write it as 0 plus 2x into e power 0 into x e power 0 is nothing but 1 plus 7 into e power 3x as it is now observe here what are the roots of this equation what i if i write in the auxiliary equation and solve it what roots i will get nothing but 0 0 and one more is 3 you have already solved the auxiliary equation and found the roots of it. So, using that knowledge, we can observe here, we can get the solution as 0 and 0, 0 into e power 0 x, once again this one and one more is 3. So, here by this, I can imply that here 0 is twice, right? So, m square and you have got one more root as 3. So, m minus 3 is equal to 0. Now, you have to write the equation using this. So, homogeneous, homogeneous linear equation is nothing but d square into d minus 3 into y is equal to 0. Or you can further simplify and write this as dq minus 3d square into y is equal to 0. So, in this way, if the particular solution is already given, then we can write the homogeneous linear equation for the given constant coefficient. Sorry, with the constant coefficients. So, further we will study about other properties of this differential equation and how to solve this differential equations using different methods in our next class. Thank you.